close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And just stay with the sensation of the breathing. Stay with the in-breath all the way in and the out-breath all the way out. And breathe in a way that's comfortable. If you have trouble staying with the breath, you can add a meditation word. You can use butto. Butto means awake. So you think but with the in-breath, to with the out. As for other things, other noises, you don't have to pay them any attention. They're there, but you don't have to focus your attention there. Focus your attention on the breath, what it feels like as you breathe in, breathe out, because the mind needs an anchor. Otherwise, it wanders around all the time. You don't know where it's going. You know, sometimes you get off in a really bad place, you don't know how to get back. So to keep yourself anchored so that when a thought comes up, you can inspect it before it goes out. Is there something you want to go with? If it is, okay, you can go. But you're doing this mindfully. You're doing this with alertness. You know what you're doing. Because all too often, with our own minds, we don't even know what the mind is doing. You're not sure where it is, where it's come from, where it's going. In no way, how can you depend on yourself? The Buddha said that the self is its own refuge, atta no nato. But how can you be your refuge if you don't know what you're doing? So you've got to train yourself. You've got to train the mind in good quality so you know where it's going, where it's come from, what it's up to. That way you can make sure that it's, it's acting as a true refuge. In other words, it's protecting you from doing unskillful things and encouraging you to do skillful ones. That's the kind of protector you want. Without that protection, it, you can do anything. You're totally out of control. And even if, if you have some ideas about what's right and wrong, but if the mind is not under control, that knowledge doesn't do you, do you much good. You've got to get some control over your attention. Where are you focusing your attention right now? Well, try to keep it with the breath. Keep it continually with the breath. That way you become more dependable. As for other work that you have to do in life, when you have a mind that's well trained like this, you can focus on what you need to do all the way until it's done. You don't just pick things up and drop them and pick something else and drop that. You don't get distracted easily, because there is a lot of work we have to do in life. A lot of things we have to straighten out inside, things we have to straighten out outside as, as we can. We have to take care of this body, we have to take care of the people we're responsible for. So in order to make sure that we do a good job, we have to have the mind well trained so that it does what it's told, rests when it's told to rest, or does work when it's told to work. Get it more and more on your side. Otherwise, it's like having strange animals in your house that aren't trained. Who knows when they would just go charging through the wall, making a mess all over the place, stomping all over the things that are valuable in the home. And that's what greed, aversion, and delusion can do. So you've got to bring the mind under control. That way it does become its refuge. You learn how to depend on yourself. Because if you can't depend on yourself, who can you depend on? As your child, you depend on your parents. But as you get older, they get older too, and they get less and less able to take care of you. There comes a point where you have to fend for yourself. So train yourself. And things get even worse as you get older. There comes a point where when you're sick, you go to see the doctors, and sometimes the doctors can help, but other times it's beyond the doctors. And what do you have? Well, if you have a mind that's well trained, you've got somebody on your side. You've got your own protection inside. So work on bringing the mind under control. Keep it with the breath. Make sure the breath is comfortable so that it becomes a nice place to stay, otherwise the mind will resist. Figure out what kind of breathing feels best right now, and then stick with that. The mind will be more and more likely to settle down. Once it's settled down, then it can see clearly what's going on inside. And it's only when you see clearly that you can exercise some control. <laughs>